Hello world, Adam J. Brass here. Bear with me today, I'm a little sick, but it allowed me to do uh, a Paramix tutorial for you. So it's come to my attention that most people are pretty confused about all the different panels that Paramix and Merging uh, have to you know, assemble the system. So what I'm going to do is walk you through one by one what you need to know to get Paramix operational with your merging hardware. So the first thing to look at is the VS3 panel. The VS3 panel is the ASIO driver setting for Paramix. So basically it only works for Paramix. It allows you, well it, you have the option of other merging uh, software, but for Paramix it assigns the hardware that you're using. So I'm using the Ravenna ASIO driver, but I could use a Prism interface or ASIO for all uh, or another device that I attach. So these settings here are static and they, they you don't change those. So basically it's just saying to Paramix what driver am I using. Uh, the audio bridge allows you to aggregate a secondary uh, number of channels into the uh, ecosystem, which is pretty cool, but I haven't needed to use that. Um, so anyway, this panel, once you set it for what you're using, you don't have to touch it. Uh, so we'll go ahead and X out of that. The next panel to check out uh, is the MT Discovery. So you can see it's showing my happy, um, which is an happy with an 8x8 eight eight card. So 8 mic line in, 8 analog out. Uh, to, can, you can discover it easily by double clicking it. And on the, of course, the browser control, you have all the controls for the mic pre's, the synchronization, the head routing, etc., uh, etc. Et and I can go over that in another video because that's a little complicated depending on what you're doing. So the MT Discovery app allows you to, to access anything on the network. So that's a good one to know about. Then we have the ASIO panel. This sets the buffer size and the latency settings for the uh, Horus Happy and Anubis. And that's important because they won't work unless you set the latency to either AS67 or the 64 uh, frame rate. So make sure that's correct on both this panel and on the merging hardware because it doesn't follow, you know, it's not computer controlled. You have to set it on the individual units. Uh, the multiplexing is interesting because you have to, to get a certain amount of I.O. for your sampling rate, if you're doing high sample rate, you have to set it uh, accordingly. So if you want 16 channels of 192, you have to set it to 64 in. So I'm only using 32 because I only have 8 channels uh, and I don't have the DSD cards in my happy. But I could set this machine up to do DSD with an Anubis when it does work uh, in the near future hopefully. Uh, or with a, another happy that does have the premium cards. So that's how you uh, manage your ASIO settings. And then finally we've got Anamon which is the routing uh, matrix for merging an AES67. Uh, it's already open in the background. As you can see, it wouldn't let me open it again. So I'm going to go ahead and click Maximize. And you can see that it's seeing my happy. Uh, and that's it. The only thing on the network. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and open up Pyramix. And as Pyramix loads, which can take a little bit of time, we'll see that once Pyramix does finally load, the ASIO driver will appear. See? Uh, now you can select it. Since I already uh, had the happy connected, it just remembers because the, the routing is actually on the happy or the merging converter itself. That's where it's stored. Um, so as you can see, it remembered everything, but nothing is highlighted here, so I have to just highlight both of them. We can go ahead and scale that down. So you can see I've got 32 ASIO IO, but I only need 8. So I'm going to go ahead and fold those down. And actually, since it was changing from 44.1 to 192, you've now seen my channels decrease uh, due to the multiplexing. If I was using a 44.1 rate, I had far more channels. Uh, but now I have 8 I.O. So it's finally switching to the sampling rate, as you can see. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and select it again. And I'm just going to go ahead and fold down these I.O.s. Oops. So you can see what's routed. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and just clear everything so you can see how it's done. Uh, so we're going to clear all selected connections. So clearing all the connections is usually the best way to 
start fresh. So it's going to clear the connections on ASIO and on the HAPPY. So Pyramix is open. It's asking me, hey, you know, what's your mic preamp settings going to be? The last save one or what do you want? So I'm going to say yes. It's going to open my last save session, which is at 192 kilohertz. So I'm going to go ahead and go over here. And uh, now, basically, everything is clear. As you can see, it took a second and cleared everything. So the way to route this is once the sample rate is set properly on the happy, which usually is here, um, you'll make sure it's set there. I leave it on auto. It follows. It's probably the easiest way to go. Uh, but you want to make sure sometimes there can be some confusion with these uh, with talking to each other. So just make sure that's set properly if you see an error. So nothing's connected. I've selected both of them. You can select them by holding shift or you can highlight them, whatever you want. It gives you the full matrix of the inputs and outputs. So uh, just to connect these, I want to connect the analog ins to the ASIO inputs and the analog outs to the ASIO outputs. So I'm going to go ahead and click. there so they're green add these and then just hit apply multicast and now I'm connected as I was before pretty straightforward and so you can close you can close on them on and it will remain open until you close it again so it really takes two times to close it uh, so now we're in Pyramix and we should have audio yep as you can see on my third screen there we have the uh, master mix ma or, sorry final check metering which I found is a really great asset to uh, Pyramix for metering and you know it comes factory with it um, so it's loudness metering VU metering uh, it's a really great tool phase scope uh, I would definitely suggest it using it